Captain Paul from the TSP podcast. So, uh, liberals, why are you so upset about Elijah Dickens' bravery? I saw a article on the Washington Post saying, the rare occasion when the armed citizen saves the day. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting reporting. Um, I know liberals want to disarm every single American citizen and they want them to give up their guns and everyone live in this perfect utopia that all loves and hugs and kisses where crime will never happen and we just let murderers walk on the street and protest and burn building down. So, well, you know, listen, that, that, that doesn't work. It doesn't work. Let's just call it how it is. Some people are going to have inherently evil natures to them. There are some people that maybe the system has failed them in the regard to being raised, how they were raised. Uh, maybe they just have a lot of mental issues, but they're, for whatever reason, we are always going to have some inherent evil within our society and have these evil acts done. There is no way you can prevent that. So, liberals, I have to ask again. When you have a proven fact, when a citizen has confronted a mass shooting situation and where three lives of importance were lost that day were probably in the dozens if not more than that could have been killed because he had 100 rounds of ammunition why are we so upset about Elijah Dickens stepping up to the plate and taking down the target is it because it goes against your narrative that oh wait the good guy with the gun can actually save the day this man, Elijah Dickens, will have to obviously live with taking away a life, but I hope he doesn't have too much mental stress regarding it because all you did was take a piece of garbage out of the census. This might be insensitive. I'm not going to even say the shooter's name because you know what? I don't care about him. Who I care about is the other three victims, and I'm going to name them. The husband and wife combo that was killed of Pedro Pineda and Rosa Pineda, Pedro being 56 and Rosa being 37, and also killed Victor Gomez of 30 in Indianapolis, a resident. Those were the three lives that were tragically taken that day. The shooter decided to go into a mall, hide in the bathroom, stay in there for about an hour with a long rifle and 100 rounds of ammunition. We know what he had planned that day. But Elijah Dickens stepped up to the plate, took down the target, and proved what a lot of us gun-supporting Americans have said. If you give us a mean to protect ourselves, not only will it just protect us, when I'm in the store with you, I'll be able to protect others if there is that mass shooting. Elijah did what a lot of people don't have, especially when you're a liberal, the courage of his conviction to step forth, push his girlfriend to safety, and engage a mass shooting situation. And the one confusing logic I have, the liberal left hates guns, but they also hate the police. So they want you to depend on the police to protect you, even though they don't trust them themselves? Where does that make sense? Why can I not take my own safety in my own hands? That is why the Second Amendment is there. That is why our forefathers wrote it down. To protect ourselves and also to rise against tyranny. Which, you know, past few years we've actually kind of seen with this administration. Elijah's dick and bravery is, you know, something I'm not going to undercut here. It's just simply amazing how this young man dealt with this situation and put his life at risk to protect countless and countless of other human beings there would have probably been dozens dead if not for elijah dickens and i say his name repeatedly because i want this name to be known the name of a man that when in one of the most difficult situations you'll ever find yourself rose to the occasion and saved so many lives this is why the constitutional carry matters. This is what we need to protect ourselves. We need to be able to carry whenever we want to. So liberals, let's stop the nonsense takes that this is a rare occasion, that this is only a once in a lifetime situation. 
you had a young 22 year old i believe in there with elijah dickens deciding to put it in his own hands and save those lives so those people that go to the range those people that go through these trainings they are more than capable to protect you and themselves most law-abiding citizens that purchase weapons do not commit these violent acts these are the mentally unhinged people and this person that committed hence mass shooting was also somebody that went to juvie now i'm not saying every single person that goes to juvie is going to be a mass shooter but when there's a track record that kind of leads to uh i would say unstable mentality eh, i'm not necessarily shocked this is the person that comes out and decides that i'm going to go to a mall today and end three lives so if you are a gun supporting american or you know what if you're just a true american within themselves this case proves that we need to have the means to protect ourselves do not let yourself be a victim do not get brainwashed into this anti-gun rhetoric because it's just not true in these countries where they have taken away guns the violence stays the same they just change the weapon so this is captain paul from tsp be very interested to hear your thoughts down below i'm done talking my shit and i'll see you in the next episode